Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I want to show you this device that I have built to demonstrate the gyroscopic effect. First, note that this is an electric motor and is coupled to a heavy flywheel. So that is heavy on this side and it falls. It doesn't stay horizontal. Here I have a couple of magnets that I can move from left to right to control the distribution of the weight. I am using supercapacitors to power the motor because they are lighter than batteries. They are mounted on the same frame as the motor so they move together. In this way we don't have wires that interfere with the motion. The system has two degrees of freedom, that is, it can move in this direction and also in this direction. This movement is possible because the motor is mounted on this axis, so it can pivot freely in this direction. And the other movement is this. This piece here is used the motor from an old VCR. Ok, let's see it in action. Remember that it doesn't stay horizontal because of the weight of the flywheel. I'm going to connect the super capacitors in order to charge them. Ok, they are charged now and notice that it doesn't fall, well it does fall but very slowly and starts to rotate around the vertical axis. How to explain the movements that we observe? Well, the physics of gyroscopes is complicated, we need mathematics, but let's try to give a simplified version. Here we have a rotating mass, remember that mass has inertia, and that means that it wants to stay in the direction of movement. So if the mass is rotating on the vertical plane, the gyroscope wants to stay in that plane, so it stays horizontal. If we put the gyroscope at an angle, it will stay rotating at that angle because that is the direction of movement of the mass. And what about the movement, the rotation around the vertical direction? That part is more complicated, but we have three forces. One is the vector perpendicular to the rotation of the mass in this direction. We also have the force of gravity, which is pointing down. And the effect of these two forces is that a torque appears, which is perpendicular to both this direction and this one, so it points in this direction and makes the whole body of the gyroscope rotate. Okay, then the force of gravity, which points downward, produces a torque that makes the gyroscope to rotate clockwise. But it also works in reverse. If I apply a torque, then the gyroscope will move downwards or in the other direction. 
depending on the direction of the torque. Thanks for visiting my channel, please also visit my Patreon page if you want to help me and see you in the next video.